G'day everyone, today I'm about an hour outside of Melbourne at the Gisborne Vintage Machinery Society. Today we're going to take a look at their miniature railway, their model railway and a couple of other really interesting things out here. As well as at the end I'll tell you all about an upcoming event that they are going to put on in the middle of the year. So if you are new here, before we take a look around, don't forget to be subscribed so you can keep up to date with everything that I've got coming out in the future. Anyway, let's go have a look around. So I guess to get started, Gisborne is situated on the Calder Highway a little over 50 kilometres northwest from Melbourne. To get to the steam park by car is very easy and it's not too far from the Calder Freeway. Or you could very easily catch a train from Melbourne and walk from the station as it's only about a 20 minute walk from the Gisborne Railway Station. So the Society is a diverse group of enthusiasts interested in vintage machinery, restoring and displaying historic oil and steam equipment, engines, farm machinery, tractors, cars and trucks, railways both large and small, models, history of engineering and technology, as well as radio transmission. Now the park has actually quite a lot to offer, so I guess we'll start with the miniature railway. This miniature railway is a seven and a quarter inch gauge. Now on the day we went, they had one locomotive running around which I believe is a South Australian shunting locomotive. And I was pulling a handful of cars with passengers paying $3 for a ticket. Now, if anyone knows what this locomotive is, please leave it in the comments below. So they also have a 14 and a half by six meter HO scale DC model railway, which was donated to the society by Charles Cord. Based on the towns Murray Bridge and Talon Bend in South Australia, it includes bridges over the Murray River, tunnels under hills and extensive landscaping. They said that members have enjoyed adding to it and bringing their own locomotives and rolling stock to run on it. They also welcome anyone who would like to join their club to play trains. There is the scope to help with setup and further landscaping, and you can bring your own trains to run or use the available trains.
Now I got a real treat while I was there and got to see inside a shed located on the site, which has something very special. They have a two foot gauge railway, or at least they've put down a little bit of track, for running and exhibiting a steam locomotive built by Perry Engineering in Adelaide, which originally worked at Queensland Sugar Mills, then the salt works near Geelong, then spent some time laid up in a park in Nidri, before being donated to the society and restored by members. Now the members did let me know that this locomotive will hopefully be back in steam for the rally in May. They also had stored in there an Albion truck and this enormous threshing machine. They also had this retired W-Class Melbourne tram on site, which was W71014, which entered service in 1955. It is still fitted with some of its AGC finance advertising, which was applied to it in the early 90s before being withdrawn. You can climb aboard and check out the controls or even ring the bell. Oh, and if you would like to see a photo of it when it was in service, there is a photo on Vixig's website. All right, everyone. So that was our afternoon at the Gisborne Vintage Machinery Society. Really, really enjoyable. Super friendly uh, volunteers who were there and yeah, lots to do and see. So miniature railway, HO scale railway, you've got a few other bits and pieces of machinery as well as that Perry locomotive, which they've told me now, I should just prefix this. The Vintage Machinery Society is open on the first Sunday of most months. So keep an eye on their website and social media for opening days and times. As well as that, they're gonna have a steam rally or a vintage machinery rally in May, which sounds excellent. And I hope that we can get back up here for that because it really sounds like a worthwhile event. Not that not coming here isn't worthwhile. I think it's a really great way to spend an afternoon, but I think if you're gonna make one trip out here this year, it's in May. So if you're planning on heading along to that or have any feedback about this video, let me know in the comments or description comments there below. And of course I will leave all the appropriate links. Now, if you did like this video, don't forget you can subscribe because I'll be back with plenty more videos in the future. So anyway, thank you so much for watching. Until next time, hooroo.